Trump screws lying Democrats and shithole countries, tells DACA dreamers where to go. President Donald Trump is being excoriated by the mainstream media over his alleged comments about third world countries. According to congressmen present in a meeting in the Oval Office on Immigration, Trump lashed out, asking them why they are insisting America take in illegal immigrants from shithole countries. Luckily, Trump doesn't buckle to the breathless reporting by the fake news, and he freaked them out over his new plans for DACA dreamers, making clear where they could all go. President Trump has been attempting to reach a bipartisan consensus regarding a few different issues that seem to be tied together. One is the southern border wall, of course, which is the last thing any Democrat wants to endorse. Building the border wall is also something many globalist Republicans don't want, which leaves Trump having to tie it to the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, or DACA, illegal aliens. Or, so we thought, because after the president put his best foot forward, trying to negotiate a deal, the lying Democrats screwed him, once again. Luckily, Trump posted several tweets going over the fake news reporting, so we would all know what really went on since our mainstream media can't be trusted to tell us the truth. The president tweeted, the so-called bipartisan DACA deal presented yesterday to myself and a group of Republican senators and congressmen was a big step backwards. Wall was not properly funded, chain and lottery were made worse and USA would be forced to take large numbers of people from high crime countries which are doing badly. I want a merit-based system of immigration and people who will help take our country to the next level. I want safety and security for our people. He went on, I want to stop the massive inflow of drugs. I want to fund our military, not do a dim defund. Because of the Democrats not being interested in life and safety, DACA has now taken a big step backwards. The Dems will threaten shutdown, but what they are really doing is shutting down our military at a time we need it most. Get smart, make America great again. Lastly, he tweeted, the language used by me at the DACA meeting was tough, but this was not the language used. What was really tough was the outlandish proposal made, a big setback for DACA. Sadly, Democrats want to stop paying our troops and government workers in order to give a sweetheart deal, not a fair deal, for DACA. Take care of our military, and our country first. Trump is explaining his frustrations, and he is making it clear, if the Democrats want to play games, he'll play games. He is also making it clear that he will tell those DACA kids to get the hell out of here. I'm not sure if Trump said shithole when referring to third world countries, but good for him if he did. Can anyone blame him? He's trying to do what the American people elected him to do, and these clowns are worried about illegal aliens. According to the Washington Post, President Trump grew frustrated with lawmakers Thursday in the Oval Office when they discussed protecting immigrants from Haiti, El Salvador and African countries as part of a bipartisan immigration deal, according to several people briefed on the meeting. Why are we having all these people from shithole countries come here? Trump said, according to these people, referring to countries mentioned by the lawmakers. Here's the key to why the president was so pissed off. When Trump claims, wall was not properly funded, chain and lottery were made worse, this means the Democrats want chain migration, where, if one immigrant is in the country, they can bring in their whole entire family with them, and the lottery immigration system, which bases immigration on a lottery not merit-based. They want all of this but not to fund the wall? I guess in the face of those facts, I'd be saying a lot more than just shithole countries. It's a wonder the president didn't throw every dirty Democrat out of the Oval. The useful idiots are all focused on the word shithole when we have real issues going on in this country. You've got to be shaking your head at the fake news. The president's frustrations are real as he fights for every one of us. I really don't know how he deals with these idiots on a daily basis. I'd want to slam back some good bourbon every night. Thank God, he is a fighter who won't give up until America is made great again, great again.